a content pack, a new Power BI desktop release, a book, and more that's coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today is Thursday, which means we're gonna do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Guy in a Cube. We've got a lot of updates right before the week of Christmas, so let's go ahead and take a look. First up on the list is a new content pack for Office 365 Mon. And don't be confused like I was in the beginning where I thought I could just connect this to my Office 365 tenant and monitor. This is actually a third party service called Office 365 Mon. You have to have an account with them and then you can use this content pack with that service. And the content pack is just a curated set of a dashboard, report, and a data set to help you get up and running quickly. So if you're using Office 365 Mon or you're interested in that service, go and check out this content pack. Next up on the list is the Power BI Weekly Update that was released last Thursday. The update had a few items in it, first which was that you can pin a live tile to your dashboard. This is actually the ability to pin a report sheet, the entire sheet, to your dashboard and interact with it. Also, the ability to refresh your dashboard tiles. Don't be confused and think that it's actually gonna reach out to your backend data source. What this does is actually just refresh the visualization and the cache that's on the tile on your dashboard with what's in the data model in the backend, in the Azure backend server. You can also use images within your slicers now. And also you can adjust the interactions within your report visualizations. This is actually really fun to do in terms of you can kind of control how those visualizations are gonna interact with each other and whether or not if you click on one is it gonna affect all of the other visualizations. So go check out these features if you haven't seen them yet and let me know what you thought. Next up, hot off the press is a update for Power BI Desktop. There were a lot of report authoring items inside of this as well as data connectivity and modeling. And with the report authoring pieces, some of those made their way to be supported in the service as well. So one thing that's really cool in this is the ability to support our visualizations with inside of Power BI Desktop when you are authoring your report. Also another thing that stood out to me that I like from a connectivity side is when you go to connect to an ODBC source, we actually have a drop down now where you can pick the DSN that's on your system. So go download the Power BI Desktop update, go check out these features and tell me which one you like the best. Next on the list is a blog post by Christopher Webb where he takes a look at the differences between Excel and Power BI Desktop. When you're using a sort by column and your DAX calculation is using the all function. So if you've ran into this issue, go check out this blog post and see what he talks about in terms of how to work around it and change your calculation. Next up on the list is a book actually, written by Teo Lockiv. It's called Applied Microsoft Power BI. It is the only Power BI book out right now. He is a great author. I highly recommend going checking out this book and see what you can learn about Power BI. Last but not least on my list is a blog post by Patrick LeBlanc, where he takes a look at why he couldn't pin an Excel range to his Power BI dashboard. It was an interesting scenario where he had to go and figure that out. So go check out this blog post and see what he came up with in terms of why this was happening. Okay, those are my items from this last week. I hope you found them as interesting as I did. I'd love to hear your feedback. Go ahead and leave those down in the comments below and tell me what you thought. What item in that list is something you're gonna go take a look at? And also let me know if you found something else that I didn't find that you wanna share out with everyone else. As always, the links for all of the items I talked about are in the description below as well. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Thursday I do an information roundup just like this where I take a look at the last week and find items that I thought were interesting and share those out with you. Every Tuesday I take a look at a technical item where I either look at how something works or dig into how to troubleshoot something or just talk about a new feature. And really this is about you. I wanna help you be more successful and effective in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.